Look, I'm telling you, look, it doesn't it doesn't really matter why I need a gun, but I just need a gun, okay? All right, look, if you must know, I've been getting some bad comments, okay? Some negative comments on my videos, some dislikes. And look, I pour my heart and soul out of those videos. I make great content, all right? For them to not appreciate. Wait, hold on. Look, I just found a gun. How convenient. All right, cut the music. What's going on, everyone? Welcome back to The Real Talk. John here with another review, and that is obviously for Death Wish, uh, directed by Eli Roth and starring Bruce Willis. Uh, so first things first, I'm not really a big Eli Roth fan. You know, I've seen some of his films. I kind of still want to see Cabin Fever. I, I believe he did that. Um, but, you know, Hostel, you know, I'm not really too into the whole torture porn thing. Uh, but you know what? I like his ambition to kind of be different, you know? Uh, but with this film, you know, obviously I was going in with a lot of negative things said about this film, like on Twitter and the Rotten Tomato score is sitting at 9%. Uh, and obviously this is a remake from the 1974 film with Charles Bronson. So, you know, remakes are kind of, you know? Um, so I went in with low expectations and I think that's why I came out, you know, not really agreeing with all the negative stuff, but also agreeing with them at the same time. And here's why. So obviously, like we always do, we're going to be starting off with the negatives. And I think the biggest downfall for this film is the lack of consistency in tone. This film doesn't really know what it wants to be. Uh, it's one of those, you know, kind of revenge films. And we're going to talk about another one, one of my favorites a, a little bit later in the review. But... It's one of those revenge films. Obviously, some happens, you know, and he wants to take the law into his own hands. And it's kind of an awkward time for this movie to come out too. But, um, you know, he it, it's one of those films. But at the same time, it has some comedy elements. At the same time, it's like trying to poke fun at itself. Like it, it knows what it is, and it's kind of kind of like a scary movie type of thing. Not to that extent, but it's kind of like you know having fun with itself. And it's kind of like well, choose what you want to be, you know? Like, it, it would be, it, it, if they try to, con like, concentrate all their stuff on, like, revenge flick, okay, cool. If they want to do, like, one of those poking and fun at itself film, cool, but it, this film's kind of trying to be, like, three films all into one, and I didn't really enjoy that. So going on with my negatives, like you guys saw in the beginning of the video, kind of those two convenient moments. There's two in particular, one involving a gun, I don't want to, you know, give spoilers, and another one involving a bowling ball. And if you guys see it, you guys know what I mean. It's kind of like, like that's what I mean like those times it's kind of like okay this is funny you know or this is kind of like one of those poking fun at itself things but it's like it just came at moments where I'm just like really like really you know <laughs> um so that's kind of it, it, those moments took me out of the movie and that's always bad also like this movie is a revenge type of story I feel like they should have concentrated a little bit more on the family and kind of getting to know them a little bit more and also Bruce Willis's character because a lot of the emotional scenes kind of I was just like okay like yeah, it sucks obviously it, it's it's bad I wouldn't wish that for anybody but it, it didn't get those emotions out of me. Uh, and I feel that's what it, it also should have done better. So moving on to my positives, believe me, at least for me, there are some positives. And that being, it's, it's a cool little fun action movie, I guess. Some of the action scenes are pretty cool. They're not the best, you know, they're not revolutionary or anything like that. They're not changing the game, something like a John Wick did. Uh, but it, they were, it was fun, and it was cool to see Bruce Willis back, you know, he, he, he's been better. Um, but it was cool to see him doing these action things again. Hopefully, you know, he doesn't get discouraged, and he comes back. And hopefully this doesn't affect his, uh, well, here he shot glass, so, um, I don't know. But anyways, hopefully that doesn't affect that. So, yeah, I enjoyed the action, you know, some parts, like, uh, and I enjoyed Bruce Willis, again, on the big screen. Another thing that I enjoyed is kind of, you know, I did say the family scenes could be better, but some of them were pretty cool. They were pretty heartwarming, you know, they're eating breakfast, uh, the, the daughter gets accepted to college, that's pretty cool, and also the stuff with the uncle. There's a lot of little things they did with him, too, with Vincent D'Onofrio, he was pretty cool in this. And it's cool to see, by the way, real quick, it's cool to see that Vincent can just play one of these characters and then just like that he can play kingpin and it's like holy shit i'm scared of this guy like this guy can do shit to you you know like but it's cool to see his acting rage uh, he, he's he's awesome um so yeah I, I really some some of those things were okay and the gore obviously eli roth like i'm not a big fan of the whole torture porn thing but it's some of these scenes and the actions like whoa like that he just that like, the guy's head is blown off like wow you know just boom um and then obviously one guy just falls down the stairs and that I was just not expecting. I was like, oh, you know. But again, you know, not a big fan of that. But it was cool. It's just, it's just surprising at some points. All right. So before I give my score, I just want to quickly mention, like I said, I was going to talk about another movie in this review. Because to be honest, 
I'll just say it. I wouldn't recommend Death Wish. I'd rather you guys see go uh, go see Black Panther again, or even Red Sparrow. Something I'm looking forward to this weekend. Or stay home and rent this movie, Death Sentence, directed by James Wan, starring Kevin Bacon. It does have a lot of you know, it's it's a revenge type film. And for me, when I was younger, this movie was in my top 13 movies of all time, my favorite movies of all time. Now it's probably my top 30. I don't know it's moved on, obviously, because I've learned more a little bit about film. But it's still one of those, at least for me, this movie when I saw it. It just got me. You know, it, it, it does those things that I said that this movie, Death Wish, didn't do well. And I feel like this is a perfect example of how to do a revenge film. It's super underrated. One of James Wan's underrated film. Obviously, he's done uh, Saw, Insidious, Conjuring, and Aquaman, and even Fast and Furious. But this one, I think, is really underrated. Go check it out. Uh, so, that being said, guys, I'd have to give Death Wish. <laughs> with all the negatives and the recommendation and everything, with all that being said, I have to give Death Wish a 6 out of 10. Like I said, it's not as bad as everybody's been saying, at least for me, but it's not as good. You know, it's just, okay, if you want to see, I, I, you know what, just wait for it for Netflix, Redbox, whatever. Chill in your home, watch it on the screen, you'll be doing just fine. So anyways, uh, if you guys have seen the film, let me know in the comment section down below what you guys thought about it, if you agree or disagree with me. Uh, and yeah, if you guys want to uh, follow me outside of YouTube, you guys can, at The Real Talk. Talk with 2Ks on Instagram and Twitter. You guys could also find me on Stardust doing my early reactions to not only movies but TV as well. Uh, just there at The Real Talk. Till next time, guys, I'll see you at the movies. Later.